to and you're live hello everybody welcome to the legend of zelda randomizer for the first time i believe here on any of the midwest speed fest branded marathons um, so i'm going to quickly go over some of the kind of some of the flags we're working on here uh, with this so uh, one of the things you'll see out right here is my characters are not Link, they are Lynels. So you have an, an option for different sprites, and I chose the Lynel for this. Um, so immediately what, what I did kind of to move the, move the start along a little faster was I set it to potentially give me some things at the start. So it can give me all or none or something in between of the following five items, and that's some bombs, the white sword, the magic wand, the magic key and the blue ring. So I could get one of them, I could get four of them, I could get none of them, I could get all of them, who knows? We'll, we'll see when we start. Um, pretty much everything's gonna be randomized. Overworld monsters, underworld monsters, uh, the shapes of the dungeons are gonna be randomized, what's in them, uh, the bosses and that sort of stuff. Um, we might see like six gomas in a dungeon, just because, you never know. Um, all sorts of great stuff. The locations of items in the overworld are going to be different. Like So all of the locations you know about in the overworld, like bomb locations, um, bushes to burn, stuff like that, will be the same. But what I find in them could be different. So I could find level 9 um, in level three spot, for example, stuff like that. So this should be a fun little romp. Um, we'll probably die a couple times. Who knows? Could be fun. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this started then. So I just... Uh, Oh, Rocket, let you know yeah, when you um, start. Let All me right. just. So, yep. So I have a uh, donation to read real quick before ahead. we start, though. Yep. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. All right. All right. We just got a $11 donation from Skip McLazy, and no comment on. And then for uh, the bid wars on names for Legend of Zelda, I believe it was Baguette one. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Looks like it. So we could have had three, but it looks like everybody went for Baguette. So I will put that in, and then we'll just fill these out with something fun here. Uh, we'll just do this. Baguette is tasty. How about that? <laughs> there we go. So somebody donated for Baguette. So Baguette's what we're going to play. And, uh, all right. So I'll count you down. All right. Go ahead and do the count. Will do. So in three, two, one, go. And so it looks like is we're going to start with the blue ring. Okay, so we have the blue ring. We have the magic wand. Let's see. And we have some bombs. So we got three of the five things. And we started in an interesting location. I'm actually going to put the magic wand back on because that's actually a pretty good weapon. Um, when you hit an enemy directly with it, it does white sword level damage. And it's going to have some more fun things later. So I'm trying. So right here is a location, if you're not aware. It usually is the Armos night spot. In this case, it's just another location. And it actually is one of the warp zones, which is good. So this lobby, I'm also going to be trying to do this fast, but at the same time, I'm tracking things along the way. So you may see me just like stop for things. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'm stuck here because I can't reopen that. So we're going to check out Death Mountain, apparently. All right, so let me mark that. The, the overworld map is just big enough where it's annoying not to track it. So we're going to see what's around here. So this is, oh, this is good. Uh, we're going to get us the, hmm. Yeah. So we got, so now I got the blue candle, which will be good for a, a little bit later. So another one of the potential places. No, oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't where, I, that wasn't the Armo spot. So this is where the Armo spot usually is. So it's not there. I'm going to actually just reset that because fast guys running around. Not always a good thing. And, uh, Rocket, if you get donations and you want to just, like, shut me up for a minute to do them, that's fine. There's probably, like, I'm not going to be explaining a lot of speed tech here for the most part. Uh, I'm, I'll be doing a couple of speed tech type things. I'll be screen scrolling from time to time and block clipping and stuff like that. But So here we have some money. It's 30 bucks. $30 is the medium amount of money. Um, there's three amounts. There's a small, medium, and a large amount. And that is the medium. And they have a range that they can be when you generate the seed. Um, I don't know the exact numbers for the ranges, but the small one ends up being anywhere from like 1 to like 11 or 12 or something. That was a door repair fee, and that was unfortunate. 
is it took 21 of my rupees away, which is not good. <laughs> so Baguette is continuing along the journey. Oh boy, rocks right here, so... Ah, they followed me. Stop. Um, oh, that's right, it's over here. So this is the white sword item, so it's not gonna let me get it. The white sword item, instead of being the white sword, is now the blue boomerang, which means I don't really need to come get it. So I'm gonna mark that for later. And just, uh, I guess I'll mark this as that it's the white sword item, just so I know. In case for some reason I want a boomerang later. Another one of the cool upgrades for Zelda Randomizer is being able to press select to, to scroll through your items instead of having to go into the menu. It's pretty handy. Let's see what's here. Oh, we found level four. All right. So much like the, the uh, original Zelda, we can do any dungeon we want to in any order. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the block clip. So that's the block clip. And so this is just a stairway. I'm gonna see if I need that first or not. I probably am. So the way the block clip works is if you get yourself, your, your, your sprite partially into a block and then tap left or right, you'll spin to the face down. It's a lot easier to do with a weapon and then you can just walk through. Um, so we'll just go. This is probably one of those dungeons that's just, just small, like a couple of rooms at the beginning and then the rest of it's behind the stairwell. I can't. So, so it's, a white, it's the white sword I'm in. It requires me to have a certain amount of hearts to get through it or to, to pick it up, and uh, in the vanilla game, that's five. In this game, I believe it can be between four and six required to pick it up. Ah. And so with three, I can't pick it up yet. Whoops, wanted to get that. I don't have any keys yet, so I'm kind of stuck. Early wand is nice, yep. So it looks like I'm, I'm either going to have to bomb a wall or I'm stuck for now. Without, nope, yeah. There's a... a well, now I'm definitely stuck because I don't have a ladder yet. Um, I think we're going to abandon ship on this dungeon for now. I'm going to be using up A to get back to the beginning easier. <laughs> So there's a couple of really cool features with this. Um, like I said, you can scroll with the scroll through your items with select. Um, this. Hey, look at that! I'm gonna take a heart now since we already got the blue candle from the last one. Um, so what's gonna be cool, and I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but you'll but um, me being a Lionel sprite changes uh, some things about the game that you'll see when they when we come about to them. Um, and so, uh, just like the, the actual vanilla game, um, red underworld items drop bombs and blue overworld items drop bombs regardless of where you actually find them. So since those, since Gorias are underground enemies, the red ones still drop the bombs even though they're in the overworld. Whereas, for instance, uh, Octorox, the blue ones are still gonna drop those. So it's good to know those sort of things when you're playing the game. So here we go. This is a potion chop. Uh, we don't have the letter yet, so he's not gonna do anything. Stop dancing around up there. So that was this guy here is a potion chop. Nice try. So I'm just marking that. So that's, whoops, I don't have that on candle right now. Stop. This is a, a tip vendor. So you can buy a, buy a hint from this guy. I don't generally use them. Um, and also I'm not sure because I've never, because like I said, I don't normally use them. So I have a thing, a thing uh, turned on that I cannot understand anybody, like any of the people when I run into these caves and stuff until I have the book. So the book, I've actually made it so the book is actually worthwhile. So we're going to be getting it. Um, also, the way I have these flags set, the book is no longer an item you find in dungeons. It's going to be a purchase item 
and it's going to cost a lot. So we're going to have to make some money here. So we found the bombs. There are 18 rupees. That's not bad, actually. I'm going to mark that as a bomb shop. In case I need to come back to it later. Ooh, get out of here. There we go. Oh. Here's some more money. That's the small one. It's nine. Okay. So the Armo spot is actually going to be over by level two near the start. We're going to check. We're just going to be checking out places. That's another potion shop. So another one of the neat things is because I'm a Lionel, um, other enemies are the, uh, are kind of like the, the, the shops and stuff rather than the old man and stuff like that. So that's another, that's one other change from me using the Lionel Sprite. Let's see, who's here? Okay, so this is where the wood sword is. I'm going to grab the wood sword since I already got the blue candle. Um, just so I can still attack and use a B button item if I need to. And so another thing I think I left on on this flag set, let's see, I did, is permanent so uh, beam sword, which is another feature you can enable in the randomizer. So I always have beam sword. I kind of, for, for, for this run, I kind of decided rather than trying to go with super duper hard flags, I'd go with some fun stuff to kind of show off some of the neat things this randomizer can do. Without it being too too ridiculously easy as well, um, by randomizing a lot of everything going on. So we got some more money here. It's another small money. Nine dollars. Whoop de do. All right. Let's see what's here. I'm just clearing these because these are so out of the way. Ah, we found level six. Let's see if we can actually do anything in here. Next, drop nice amounts of money for sure. And a key, that's good. We don't have the the magic key yet. Okay, we're not leaving here, but I have to kill them to go back. Or I have to up A to go back, one or two. But killing them is not too hard considering we have the wand. And we're gonna have to kill, oh, that's right, I have to actually hit Gleok's head with the wand in order to actually do damage which can be dangerous because of the fireballs. But we got it. So down here, actually, we could now go into that room. So everything is going to say my lips are sealed until I get the book. And then they're actually going to tell me things. There's the dungeon map. That's handy. So that's what the dungeon looks like. Just in case you were curious. Is this an item? Please say it's an item. Nope. Okay. We're going to stick around over here for Hurston, just in case. And then we'll follow that along. Alright, so we've got... Gels here. Okay, I'm not sure I'm going to waste that key right now. Let's take the stairs, why not? Gets us up and above a lot of that other stuff. Hey, it's the dungeon heart. All right. Whoops. Let's get the dungeon heart. All right. So we have six's dungeon heart. We'll go ahead and mark that. Um, I'll we'll see if we can bomb upward. Yes, we can. Okay. So let's go up. Save the key for now. So Vyres, are they going to die? Nope, they're not going to die immediately from a white sword level hit. Let's see what we got this way. We have Goma, and I don't have a bow or arrows for that matter. Oops. So we're going to reverse bot block clip and go this way. <laughs> okay. Cool. So white sword. So I think I have like random HP, enemy HP on this thing too. Oh, I don't want to waste the key, but I guess I'm going to have to. 
Yes, the layout of the dungeon is randomized, exactly. Yeah, I'm away. Oh, jerk. I didn't think you were going to break away there. Okay, so here's a new key. That's good, at least. What sucks is this Pole's voice is going to be a pain. Because I can only hit it with the actual, with my sword or the actual wand, and the, the wand is better. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Let's see what's up here. Another key. Okay. Worth the uh, trip. Alright. So let's, uh, let's go take a look this way, then, shall we? Ooh, that's a pain. That was just more money. Okay, so that room wasn't required. And so this room to the right is the... Okay, was the um, Gliok room. I guess we'll try using the key down here and see what we can find. Got another key, that's good. What's great about having the, w the wand also is that it makes bubbles irrelevant. What does suck though is I have to actually hit the pole's voice with the wand, not the, not the, like, ripples from the wand, but the actual wand itself, and I can't get that key because I'm on the ladder. Alright. Oh, that's a, that's a dirty move to get video game, I don't like that. What you got here? Another key, okay. This is a real dirty move video game. I'm not, I'm not a fan of you right now. This is going to kill me. Unless I can find something else to kill and get the and get some hearts from it. Let's see what's down this way instead then. Ah, oh, this is this room. can't get that heart. Ah. I think we're pretty good at... We, oh, we, so, let me see. So, I have to find a way up there. In that corner. I have an idea. And my idea... Is this. No? Darn. Because I didn't get down there. So, those bottom three rooms I haven't been to. Good, drop the monies. Alright, so that's right, because this was the room I couldn't, uh... Because it was sideways. Yeah, okay. I can do it from here, though. Alright, so we're gonna check out down here. We're gonna kill the gels. Down from here, maybe down here will yield us something good. Maybe this is the item, even. So another thing that you have to keep in mind when playing this is sometimes, like things like the Triforce and the Dungeon Heart can be in the same room as a stairwell like this. So you might. So sometimes you really want to check them anyway. So that's another stairwell. It's probably going to lead up to those two in the top right. Hey, look, we found Ganon. I'm just kidding. So, either the item is up there, or the Triforce, or both, or neither. I mean, there's like, what, a couple more rooms we haven't been to? Because of Goma? So that's a set of bombs. I'm going to go for those. 
because why not? I needed them anyway. Ah, this is the item room, but it could also be the Triforce room, so we'll try. We'll kill the bats. It is! How about that? So, we're gonna... And there's also the item room. So this is this is pretty fortuitous that I wasn't actually uh, Goma blocked there. The item is the White Sword. That's actually not bad, so we'll get it. So now we have the White Sword, so now we're good there. And we'll go ahead and grab this Triforce. So Triforce, well, we got our first Triforce down, folks. So with these five hearts, we could potentially get the... Uh, the... Um, boomerang, the blue boomerang, if I were to go back over that way. It's likely we'd pick it up at this point. See what we got here. Another potion shop. A lot of potion shops right here. You know what I didn't I didn't mark down was what was in level three. I'm pretty sure I checked. I don't remember though. I didn't mark it. Oh whatever it was, it's not there anymore, so I'll just mark it as gone. All right, so we're going to show you some screen scrolling. There you go. <laughs> so if you get a certain amount of pixels away from the, the, the edge of the screen, you can... Uh, much like the block clip, if you do like a one frame tap up or down when you're on the side like that, uh, your, your sprite will actually flip the opposite direction. So like if you're facing left, you'll flip right. And if you're facing right, you'll flip left instead of the down or up you hit. So like if I'm over here... Oops, I, I was too, that was too many. Like that. And then you can just, well, I was I was like a pixel far, too far to the left in that case, but um, you can walk through the screen to the other side. That's pretty handy. Ah! Door repair, why? I hate when door repairs are like in doors you didn't actually blow open or burn open or anything like that. Yeah, we just got some more my neck. So another 30. We're at 110. Unfortunately, the book is usually in the 200s. Another bomb shop. Not bad. Go ahead and mark that. Oh, jerk. Let's see what's here. This is the money-making game. You know what? We'll give it a shot. Hey, we won. All right. What do we got here? What do we got here? Besides a lot of moblins. I'll take that. This is another potion shop. They're like all in like one spot. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Oh, nice try. All right, what are you? Come on. Come on. Uh, okay. There's nothing in the, I'm not even going to bother marking this shop. I wouldn't ever come here to buy anything anyway. That is a useless shop, unfortunately. The screen scrolling is also only really useful left and right. I think you can do it from top to bottom, but it doesn't really help. All right, what's here? Ah! Let's see if we go... Uh, well, all right, so this is going to be... So it depends on where this takes me. This took me here. Okay. So this was probably the third one. i got to remember where this is. Okay, so this is... It's got to be, like, this one. Right, because it's oh, it's not. It's if it's the. Let me figure out if it's this bush here. It is okay. So it is this one. All right. Which means this should take me back up there, which it does. Okay. 
So if I go here, this will take me back down here, which is fine because now I've got some stuff over here I can do. So I guess the, I could, I guess I misspoke last time. This could also be the, this is the armost statue spot and it was, and it's the regular boomerang. Um, that's pretty underwhelming for an armost night spot. So both of the boomerangs are not in dungeons at this point. Great. All right, so ends up here. One of these two is gonna be another underground thingy. Another potion shop. Oops, didn't mean to actually trigger him. All right, so now what we're gonna do so a lot of the beginning is just checking for things, and that's why I have a tracker, but it's kind of a little bit large, so we elected not to show it. Um, this game is probably not really very doable without a tracker. Ah, door repair. Just because of all the places things can be, and trying to keep them, keep or, or have it, or remember where everything is, can be a chore. Especially if you can't, like, if you find a dungeon but then can't do it right away. Like when I found dungeon 4 and can only do a couple screens. This is another hint vendor. Alright. Well, we're pretty close, so I might go see what's on the, uh... What's on the ladder spot, where the ladder heart usually is. Because it can be anything, too. What's here? Another door repair. So at least I deserved it that time, because I, I burned his door down. I deserved it. I'm not happy it happened, but there's a, lot, a couple of those other times I didn't deserve it at all because the door was already just open and I walked. All I did was walk in. Hey, level eight! All right, let's see how much of level eight we can do. So level eight has two items, so I'm going to be killing a lot of things. Uh, well, uh, I guess it doesn't. I, mean, I was thinking of dungeon one actually, so never mind. But there's two. There's two items in this dungeon. They are both um, down stairwells. So let's see. This way? Yep. We don't have. Let me see, unless there's. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing here, so we gotta go this way. There's a key. Let's see if we can bomb, like, this wall. No? Okay. So we will go ahead and. Use the key we just got, and we are all sorts of ladder locked here. Okay, unless we can bomb like down here or something, like over here. Nope. Okay, so this dungeon's pretty much a wash, I think. Need a ladder. Hoping to get some bombs. All right, so the ladder item is the power bracelet. Good to know. Tasselfoot, thanks for the raid. So we're gonna do some screen scrolling. That was a little too close. Get over here. I'm not gonna screen scroll here because there's actually a place to bomb here. That's a um, money-making game. That's door repair. That's an I deserved it door repair. Fortunately, I'm finding all these door repairs and losing all this money I've been getting. There's the letter, so now I can actually trigger the potion shops I've been finding. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so I think it's this one here. There's some money. It's hey, that's the large money finally for once. There's a couple of those hanging around. So we're pretty close. I need to just find the shop that has that sells the book and we're gonna be set pretty soon here. Whoops! Didn't actually mean to scroll myself off screen there. So here's level one. 
Let's see if we can uh, make our way. So level one also has two items like level eight. So so here's another cool little thing. Since since I'm a Lionel, the Lionel sprites have been replaced with Link, like that. Now I could just block clip, but so one of the things about level one is it has two items as I was saying like level eight, but one of them is a is just a room drop. So in order to get the room drop, you have to kill the enemies. So I'm gonna be so this is an, oh that's a good item to find. Okay, we've just opened up a lot of the game, folks. You got the ladder. Jerk. Alright. There's a nice little key for us. So we're going to keep searching. I want to see if we can just beat this dungeon. We have the ladder now, so we're not ladder locked on <laughs> this dungeon. Oh, ouch. Alright, so there's a key. Yeah, ladder, that is so good. So this, there's the compass, so we can find the Triforce easier. Now let's see if I can bomb a wall here. Nope, alright. We'll just take, we'll just use a key. There's Dig Dogger. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the... the jinxing. But... Dig Dogger may not be actually blocking anything. Maybe. As we see, I'm pretty close to the Triforce now. I mean, if anything, Goma might be blocking the other item. There's the Dungeon Heart. <laughs> so it's not blocking the Dungeon Heart. Or, you know, I, I, I could say this. That could that may also have not been the Dungeon Heart. That might have been the, la the, the where the Ladder Heart got moved to. Um, and that might have been the drop the second drop, or the second item. There's always the chance that that's the case. But I basically just found the second item. The Triforce is in here. So at this point, it's pretty evident that Dig Dogger's blocking the, the rest of this dungeon. And we'll go ahead under the impression that we didn't we don't need the other item or we didn't get the other heart one and two um so let's see we're gonna go up here and get this burn these bush some more money so we're probably in a good place i just need to find the book Found level five. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, blue dark nuts. At least I have the white sword. is with the lake here or the river I guess I'm most likely you're gonna be able to hit them all the time unless they are walking down there we go like that stop it so that was worth get a key
There's the dungeon map. Use the block clip for ease of access there. This was another key. We'll go ahead and grab it. So the great thing about Zelda 1 is that uh, keys carry over between dungeons. So I can take, if I don't use any of these five keys, I can take them to the next dungeon I go into and not have to go searching for them as much. So let's see what's here. This could be an item. And it probably is because this room is terrible. At least it doesn't have any bubbles in it, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if it's an item room. Well, it's definitely a ladder room. Yep. And it's the bow. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are finding all the progression items right now. Hello, bow. Now I just need to buy arrows. I don't think I've seen an arrow vendor yet. Hello, best arrow. Welcome. So we've probably got a bomb wall up here. Cool. This, this room is kind of ridiculous. Well, I got hit by a bubble. So, because Dungeon Hearts and Triforces are room drops generally, Sometimes they're sometimes they're carried in monsters that you can actually see. They see like there's the dungeon heart. So that's five's dungeon heart. So it's 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 handy to. So like in this room, I know I don't have to kill everything because the item was already there. The the key was the item in that room. Um. So I know I can bypass killing stuff in that room. Aquamanus is here. He's easy with a white sword. We're just looking for the Triforce now. That's a key. We'll skip it. Actually, no, we won't. I haven't found the the magic key yet. <laughs> Come here. There we go. So what's great is when, when enemies are in their invincibility frames, they also lose their hitbox. So as long as they're invincible, you can walk right through them without taking damage. So that's what I did to get that key. Thank you, Benedictator. Appreciate it. See if I can go this way. Yep, cool. So like these guys have, oops, I uh, got the bombs, but I didn't, I also got grabbed by them. So be, that bomb was the item in this room, so I don't have to kill everything. So here's a stairwell and a goma. Hopefully this goma's not guarding the Triforce. This stairwell is going to be a stairwell to somewhere else in the dungeon. Because we already found the item. This dungeon does not have two items. There's only three dungeons that do, and that's one, eight, and nine. Uh, I'm gonna hope that this is in the Triforce room, because this is gonna not be cool. You know what? We're just gonna hope it's not and keep going. It's pretty ridiculous sometimes. Alright. The great thing about the ladder in rooms like this is bubbles cannot use your ladder. This way. Okay, so I didn't check over here yet, so we'll give it a look see. Triforce, where is you? And so here's another thing where you can. So I'm going to show this off because this is pretty cool too. So in rooms like this, you can actually do a form of the 
um, screen scroll that lets you extend your ladder. Ah. Bubble messed me up. So by doing the same thing like I just did, I just now scrolled across two ladder spots and these bubbles are making me mad. There's the compass. That's good. To know. Oh my god, it's way down there. Um, that's a room I didn't go in. You know what? We're gonna up A. We've got we've got the blue up A. Oops, that's up B. That's why it's not working. The blue ring is pretty pretty strong. Ah, key room. The Triforce is in here. Yep, <laughs> that thing's eaten. Let's do that. So we have five Triforce now. All right, trucking along. Pretty good. So we'll see if we've got a shop here, maybe, or another dungeon, or some more money. I'm not going to get that, because I'm almost at max money. So actually, I'm going to mark this as some kind of money on my ma on my tracker here and go back to it later. So these are good screens for scrolling on. Oh, that was one. I was like a couple pixels too far away. Sometimes it's, it's this is like one of the hardest tricks in the game to do. And even the people that do this all the time don't always do it right. Every single time. And then this is that shop again. Okay. This is the I'm never coming here shop. Let's go check old vanilla level one here. Shop. I'll go what the fuck? He just like oh, instantly wait. was like, that shit's going way too fast. Fuck that shit. Oh, I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> Who is McKenzie? He's a free hint vendor. Who is McKenzie? Who is Dad? He tells you it. either where the okay, magic sword is. In, uh... Like, he gives you a hint towards where the magic sword is or the white sword item. Um, there's two of those. What's wrong with the audio? Give us another heart. You have some other audio. From where? I don't have any other audio coming through on me. Yeah, I'm checking, right? Okay. I was going to say, I don't hear it, so it's not coming from me, or I'd hear it. <laughs> oh, I think it's uh, the next runners accidentally joined the commentary channel. Oh. Well, here's the blue ring. I don't need it. But here's arrows, which I... Oh. I could use arrows, but at the same time, I kind of want to buy the book. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll mark this as arrows and come back to it. Oops, that wasn't arrows. That was arrows. That's that, though. And maybe hopefully find the book close. This is the same shop down here. You know what? We'll buy the arrows. I don't know, but you know what? I'd rather have them and not need them. Than need them and not have them. There have been too many times where I've run into a Gomez I need. And there is also that, exactly. That one location for money I didn't check, or I left alone. Some more. This is the bomb shop. We have lots of screens this way. We haven't checked things on yet. And what's great about scrolling from the left side is you can actually use your sword to kind of feel it out. But what sucks is from the from the so from the, the right side you can actually um you can actually there's a where you, when you're in the right spot you also won't be able to get hit by enemies. But on on this on the left side of the screen you can still get hit. Which is unfortunate. Alright, so we're here. We're close to the start of the game, or the starting map that we had. So here is a potion shop. We will go ahead and see what... Oh wow, red potions are cheap. Um, we're not going to get one right now, though. <sighs> Darn. 
door repair. I actually deserve that one. There's also, I still haven't, or also I haven't found this, uh, another, like there's a couple of the big monies. Wow, the bomb shop is all over the place. But I haven't come in contact, unless it, un I think there's, two, there's at least two, if not three of the large money locations. And I've only come in contact with one that I am aware of. The other one could have been, good grief, another door repair. There's the book, 201. And it's way over here, that's not very convenient. This could be a, the 100 and whatever, please. Dang it, that would've been, that would've been dope if it was. So then we could've just gotten it. Useless shop. Cool to know. Hey, give me some bombs, guys. Thank you. You know what? I do have that yellow banana. Give me that. <laughs> hey, level two. How about that? Alright. So let's see if there's a way up. <laughs> Randomized music. Nice. All right. That's uh. And there is a there was a, a North bomb wall. So that's another thing carried over from the the vanilla Zelda one, is if you leave a dungeon and come back in right away, um, if there is a a locked door at the top of the screen from the entrance or a bombable wall or something like that, it'll it'll open it. So like if you don't have a key, you can still open it that way or if you don't want to waste a key you can open it that way that sort of thing i'm not going to waste the key yet so level two has one item and it is a drop item it's not in a stairway so killing things in rooms is going to be the name of this this dungeon if i want the dungeon item there's the compass already all right There's the dungeon map. Okay, that's good to know. So this is the wave hat. Yep. So the the magic sword is also, or it's also randomized uh, when you can pick it up. In vanilla, you need 12 hearts to get it. Um, in this, it can be anywhere from 10 to 14, I believe hearts required so there's the dungeon heart this also now having mentioned that could also have been the dungeon item if it was the ladder heart so i don't know which i got yet check around the top area just in case I'm, I'm wrong about that being or unless in case that's not the item and that was actually the dungeon heart Ooh, that that lag though so we're at nine hearts so we're one heart short right now of uh, what we need to the of the moon we need to potentially get the magic sword this this is a five rupee item room but we're gonna go ahead and grab it because we need six more rupees to be, to get the book at this point and every little bit helps okay so the dungeon item is the red candle so that was the dungeon heart we found all right so we're done. 
until we end just so we just have to go get the get, get the good old triforce now it means we got the dungeon heart in that other room so red candles neat so the difference between the red candle and the blue candle for those unaware the red can or the blue candle can only be used once per screen and if you want to use it again you have to uh, leave the screen and come back the red candle can be used as many times as you want so it's definitely a decent upgrade five more dollars so we're one short now Well, let's kill these guys then real quick, see if we can find a dollar on them. Five dollars, there we go. Worth. And there's the Triforce for two. Now we can go back and buy the book. Thankfully we didn't get too far away. So the book does a lot of really cool things with the flag I have set, which is that the book is the atlas. And it also, I also have a couple things wrapped around the book. So the book is an atlas. What that, what that flag means is the book um, is basically the dungeon map for every dungeon. So I never need to find the dungeon maps again if I want to see the dungeon layouts. All, I have all the dungeon maps now. Um, I also have a flag set where I can't understand the helpful people until I have the book which is cool hey is that the other yeah that's the other big one cool oh I have some donations to read if I can go for it we have bungeed to the tree with nine dollars saying go raptor whoop de doo <laughs> thank you and five dollars from condor and twenty dollars from Darren. some OT runners coming up now all right, thank you guys for the donations. Appreciate that. So some of the other stuff the book can do um, with the, with some flags is I also have enabled boomstick mode, which I'm not going to explain, and I'm going to show you when, at the first possible opportunity. Oh, we found level nine. Uh, we can't use level nine yet. This is actually a pretty unfortunate spot to have level nine. Um, well, obviously, I don't have all the triforces. I can't do level nine yet. I mean, I suppose I could show boomstick mode off any time, but actually I'm going to kill some of these because the, the blue moblins can drop bombs, and he didn't. He's a jerk. Anything in here that can drop bombs? No. Okay, we'll screen scroll then. Oops, that was too close. That's too close. That's just right. These guys can drop bombs. Will you then? That's the question. I just want to fill my bombs back up. Nope. Okay. You a jerk. No red Dr. Ox don't either. What you got here? That is the money making game, which I pretty much don't need anymore. Well, not that I use it a whole lot anyway. We're going to do some Death Mountain exploring. You might, you guys, are, are any of you going to drop bombs for me? How about you? You gonna drop bombs? No? Cool. So this is where Sword 2 is. So you know what? Since I've got the stupid... The stupid boomerang, I might as well get the good boomerang. So he's just straight out of Hyrule. Nice. Alright. Oh, and I did say that that ladder item was the power bracelet. And I probably should go back to that at some point. And since I'm over here, maybe I'll show you a cool way of getting to the power bracelet from here. So this is no longer needed dungeon, or shop, rather. You guys can all drop bombs. Drop a bomb. There we go, thank you. That helps out. There we go, let's check in here now. Money making game. Oh boy. So we just gotta find a couple more dungeons. We haven't found three or seven yet. We have to go return to th four and eight. Um, 
Here's some more money. It's the other big money. I think there's only three of them. So what'll be good about that is um, sometimes dungeons will have uh, bomb upgrade people in them, and those are usually kind of expensive too. Usually, in, in, usually around a hundred and something. Um, so, if I find them, then I can upgrade my bombs. And that'll be pretty good. Hey, we found seven. So see, I already have the, uh, oops, sorry if I, that was, that was loud at all. I accidentally bumped my microphone with my hand. There is the dungeon heart. And I know that because dungeon seven only has one item and it is in a stairway. It's not out and about like that. There is the map. Oh, baby. I thought we needed it. Now, this could be the item. And it is. And it's the magic key, so we're going to grab it. That's important. Not 100% not necessary, but it's important. I think we pretty much have... Other than the silver arrows, I think we're pretty good on the, on the items we need to get out it, get through here. So I actually just need to find the Triforce now. We're good. And not get owned by... Blue Lynels, or Linkles, I guess, in this case. And so, yeah, red and whiz robes can drop bombs too, which is nice. Never a bad thing to get a bomb from red whiz robes at all. Whoops. Alright, nothing here. So, Boomstick. Boomstick turns your magic rod into a remote bomb machine. It only really is, is worthwhile to use um, in dungeons because none of the bomb locations in the overworld are right up against a wall. So, the, it's, unless you hit an enemy and it explodes right next to a bomb location, you're pretty much never going to use it this way. But now, I don't, I don't need to use bombs in dungeons anymore. So now we're getting actual clues. So we already know the ladder was in level 1 because I found it. truck and I'm gonna I'm going to assume that the Triforce is up here more so the thing that's kind of tricky about using the boomstick is like if enemies aren't hit with the explosion like if you hit them with the beam and not the explosion even if the explosion happens near them they take a they take sword damage instead of bomb damage so here is one of the bomb upgrade locations here we are So now we have we have 12 bombs. So that's pretty awesome. Give me the money. I'm gonna be mad if the <laughs> thing's at the beginning. There we go. Oh, blue freaking whiz robes. I hate blue whiz robes. And I hate when they're in rooms like this because there's no grid patterns for me to really look at to make sure I'm not getting shot by them. And then I get capped by I told you I was going to die probably once or twice. Mm -hmm. 
So what we're going to do then is maybe check out these earlier locations. See if maybe we're going to get lucky and the Triforce is here. Well, it is. Well, what do you know? It's over here. There it is. All right, we're good. Dungeon 7, get. So that, that dying was probably the best thing for me. Because <laughs> then I, you know, got sent back to the beginning and decided to search the beginning, and that's where it was. It was all on purpose. Yep. And so, <laughs> yes, that was a purposeful death. I, we'll, 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 we'll say that. We'll claim that for now. Actually, no, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to we're going to go hit level 4 since we're over here. And I was exactly right about this might but about having to take this so we're gonna go ahead and block clip RNG manipulation that, that works too all right so now that we have so I was more apprehensive about using up keys at the time. actually I may not have had many at that point because this was one of the first dungeons but now that we have Magic key. I ain't gotta worry about keys anymore. Hey. Oh, hey, the dungeon map. Let's, uh, do that. Oh, hey, it's the dungeon heart. And a patch we're going to ignore. everybody who donated it for the baguette name that was pretty awesome another key I don't need so in rooms like that getting all the money actually triggers the room to clear all right so we're pretty much stuck here went around the wrong way skip the patro since we don't have to fight it. There's the Triforce. Okay, so we can do this this way too. This way's a little bit harder though. We'll just do it this way. I can do this way easier. Oops. Apparently I wasn't far enough on the ladder. There we go. Alright, I haven't found the item yet. And in case it's the silvers, we're going to look for it. So we're going to skip the Triforce for now. to show me where the Triforce is that I already found. 
Which means, since I know where the Triforce is, it means I don't have to kill all the enemies in a room unless it's this room, which might have the item in it. No, it just opened the door. Oh, this is where I was. Let's see if I can go this way. Nope. You guys, man. You guys. What have you done, Lena, if this is all your fault? This might actually be the item right now. No. Oh, this is the beginning. This is the room where you start. Duh. So that's, that's the stairway back to the beginning. So this has to be the item room. Yep. It is the raft. You know what? We may need it, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it, just in case. Just in case dungeon, uh, whatever it is, three, that's the only one I haven't found yet, is like in vanilla four or one of those, or the other raft spot. We'll grab it. Or maybe the magic sword is one of those spots, who knows. hearts. That could very well net us the magic sword too, but I have not even found it yet, so who knows. But we have a couple places we haven't been. So what we're going to do now is do something completely different, but not really. You've seen me screen wrap before, but now... Ah, that was not far enough. Alright. Now you're gonna watch me world wrap. Actually, we might as well take care of level 8 while we're here. So we know there's nothing down there. What about this way? Nope. Okay. This way it is. This is where we got stuck. Just in case there's something important in here. Dungeon map isn't really one of those things. around here. This could be one of the two items. Let's see. It is not. It is a stairway. Let's see where it goes. Oh, well, we're not going to do that. We've got 
bow and arrows with which to deal with Pole's voice. Hey look, it's the Triforce. I'm gonna look for the for the two items because we still haven't found What's great about the boomstick is you can use the boomstick to stop them and then stab them for all the free bombs. I don't know what I just got. <laughs> Probably a key or something. Alright. This could be an item. Stop! Just trying to block clip. There we go. Here's an item. It's the recorder, so we'll get it. Fast traveling would be nice. And in case we run into any necessary dig dogger kills. That's one item down, one to go. Ain't getting anything here. Oops. Alright. Stop. Dude, stop. Alright. Yeah, how is everybody doing today, by the way? I hope you're enjoying this Zelda randomizer. Especially since we are getting towards the end here. What if I read a donation? Oh, go for it. Uh, got a $10 donation from Anonymous. So, thank you, Anonymous. Was there a comment associated with that, or did you just cut out? <laughs> oh, I thought there was, but when I actually opened up the donations list, I was like, oh, no comment. Gotcha. I just wanted to make sure, because it was weird. Alright, so we're over here now, which I think might be where the other item is. been to level five you need to tell me where like kind of what's level three again goma or goma gazes or whatever it says patra it's a good thing these are just key doors and another patra i guess that could have been the, one of those two could have been the dungeon heart um if it is i don't care that much about the dungeon heart <laughs> or this could be the dungeon heart which is also annoying because So, nope. So, Dungeon Heart could still very well be over here. It's not getting stuck. But, if I have to kill Patras for it, I don't care. I don't like Patras. Oh, man, Handla threatens. That's right. I should have realized it was, or remembered it was man Handla. Because of all the times I played vanilla. So... This, oh, that's just going to open doors. We still haven't found the other item yet. Um, that's why I did, uh, oh, I had to do that anyway. Well, I guess I didn't have to. That was just to open the doors. Right? There's other two doors. This could be the other item. And it is. <laughs> it's the, it's the ladder heart. Great. Okay, so we now know that I missed an item in level one for sure.
So now we just need to go back and get the Triforce. I have 13 hearts. It's very likely I'll be able to get the Magic Sword once I find it. So that's eight Triforce. So we just need to find level three and get its Triforce. So there's only about like a handful of locations I can actually check anymore. And one of them's very close to here, so we'll go that way. If it's not them, then we might take some recorder trips to other areas of the map. So that was a door repair fee. Let's see where it's gonna take me. It took me to eight, okay. So seven, six, five. Five is probably the best place to have it take me to get over to another spot or two I haven't been. All right. So this was some money. I don't know what it is. No, this was, yeah, was it? Yeah. So it was 30. I just figured I might as well just clear it off the map. Nice try. All right, let's see what this is now that I have the power bracelet. Another door repair. Yeah, right. What are you? Money. All right. So now, um, we'll do this. Oops, too far. Too far again. There we go. So we'll check vanilla level four. Then we've got some places up in the actual Death Mountain area. And one more place will be down here where, close to where I'm at now. There's a lot of dudes on this area. That's gonna suck. All right, so vanilla four, what are you? Ah, so now we definitely are going to have enough hearts to find, or to pick up the magic sword. No matter what. And more hearts than I... Oop, I love that. This is why I hated that there were so many of those here. So I knew I was going to get bumped right back into that. Alright, there we go. So another thing we can check... Um, there is a... False lake up here. And this false lake has a little surprise for us. And that is, it's got an entrance. Normally, this is where you find level seven, but apparently it's money. And I don't care. <laughs> so everything is up on Death Mountain. That's good to know. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our little flute and make our way to seven. So this is four. Actually, four is fine. I just have to walk a little bit more. Can I say pick that up, please? I have to say, there was an actual sort of decent spread for the, um, for the warp zones this time around. So pretty much everything I have left to check is uh, over this way. So level three's gotta be up here. The magic sword's gotta be up here. It 
a money making game has got to be up here, I guess. I think I think I only have these two spots left. Oh, I guess I do have one other um, over by the, where the entrance is or the start is. There's another. Uh, there's another um, power bracelet spot. Yeah, I already know that. So this is either level 3 or the magic sword, I think, at this point. Magic sword? Yeah, it is. Alright, magic sword. Alright, so... Um, let's see, let's go back to level 2. So I, d I always let it take me one place first, because I don't know where it's going to take me. It actually took me to 2. Beautiful. This is where I wanted it to take me, actually. Um, no, because you can't. I do play this on the hardware, though. Um, I use an EverDrive. So this is a three. Yep, this had to be three. All right, let's finish three real quick, and then let's go to nine. We're actually making pretty decent progress, I think. So here's our thing. Oh, there's the dungeon heart. Dang. <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, this could be the Triforce, so I'm gonna check. It's not. So, if the... If the uh, Silvers aren't here, then I'm gonna pray they're in 9, because I don't want to go back to 1. To get the other item I missed. Must be. Okay, it's not actually just nothing. That's nothing. Oh, it's actually. This is actually another bomb upgrade. So we'll go ahead and take it. 16 bombs, yo. Not that I really need 16 bombs anymore, but. Because I have the boomstick for uh, inside dungeons. What's great is now I have the magic sword. These guys actually just die and not sp don't split into bats. Oops. Dungeon item, where is you? That's key I don't need. This is not the item room. Dang it. I don't need those bombs at this point. This is not the item room either. There's wall masters in here though. That's not the item room. This is gonna tell me where the tri- Wow, the Triforce is in this room with the Wall Masters, okay. It's good to know. This could be the item room, though. It's not. We just got a $30 donation from Be Free. Comment is Saria sucks. <laughs> Saria sucks. So uh, I believe that went towards uh, Ruto being the name for the Ocarina of Time file. Very cool. Oh, here's the item. All right, here we go. Get my way. What we got? The red ring, I'll take it. So silvers are hopefully in nine and not in one. <laughs> We're gonna bank on that, unfortunately. Block clip. Thank you. All right, now time to kill some wall masters. Alright, there we go. We have all Triforces. Oh, 
what's great is we're very close to... Very close to nine. Oh, wait. Right, right, right. So with Red Ring and this many hearts, I'm not really going to worry about getting a potion. Um, unless I have to up A for some reason before killing Ganon, I shouldn't need the heal. All right, so let's take nine now on here. So I actually map Dungeon 9 even with... Well, I guess I don't... Mainly because... Um, so I know where, uh, where like ladders go and stuff. So I'll, I actually do map out 9. I actually have to kill these. Let's see if there's uh, another. Wouldn't be any way up from there. That's probably a bad way. I should probably should have paid more attention to the actual map and known that there was, unless there was a ladder there, there was really no point in being there. Um, God dang it! Is this an item? It is. The silver arrows. Oh baby. <laughs> So what I'm also going to be listening out for is, uh... Hold up. We just found Zelda, my dudes. Zelda's in the room above us. So I'm going to mark that. So that how you know you the, that where Zelda is, is Zelda's always behind one of these shutter doors. And if you haven't fought Ganon, they won't open even if you finish clearing the room. And if you have beat Ganon, they will open even if there are monsters in the room. So, because the shutter door didn't open after I cleared the room, that means there's that means Zelda's there. So, all right, we found. Oh, I hate these guys. There we go. All right, so this is, I'm in this room. This is a stairwell, probably a stairwell to another area. Yeah. So we'll take it, see where it goes. So it goes here. So we're in go mode, all I have to do is find Ganon and he's uh he's toast. So I have no idea if this room will say this. This is another We just got a twenty dollar donation from Andurin saying Seria is greater than Ruto dance game. Nice. All right, so this goes here and it's not even worthwhile, unfortunately. So there's nothing around it to go to. Hello, Aquamanus. So there's nothing in here either. Just to kill everything. So I can get back out. So let's say we should have a down location then, maybe. Cool. All right, and probably another down. No. So then this room doesn't go anywhere because I doubt I can go that way. Yep. Okay. So we are done going this direction. The only thing we can potentially do is go down from where the original stairwell we came to was. So maybe this way. No? Okay, so stairwell one is not worthwhile. So back we go. So I need to go this way. Nope. Not this way. Okay, we'll try that. Oops. I hear Ganon. So we, so what that means is was when you hear Ganon breathing like that, he is one room away from you. So he can be either above, below, left, or right of me. 
He's obviously not right of me because that's where I came from. So, he is either above me, below me, or to my left. Let's see if he's up. Yep, here he is. We in there, boys. And Ganon is actually a giant Zelda because I'm a Lionel. Damn, I'm not good at I'm not good at the stun lock like people who actually speed around this game. Do we have time for a quick donation? Sure. Alright, we got a six dollar donation from Kiyushi Saka saying, Ruto is my wife. Let's go, Ruto. <laughs> nice. Alright, so we found Ganon. We have killed Ganon. Or I should say Zelda. We killed Zelda. So if I was right about that other room, this door should now open. And hey, look at that. And so we killed Zelda, so who do you think's here? Hey, look, it's Ganon. And you ready on time? Yep. Time. We just rescued All right. Ganon. <laughs> 128.52. Awesome. That was a good run. So if we're curious, because I actually don't know, um, the, after the end of the credits will actually tell us what the what the recorder music was, which is pretty cool. If we're curious. <laughs> so that was Zelda Randomizer. Uh, this is a very, very fun, especially if you're into Zelda 1, very, very fun randomizer. So let's see what the flute magic was, or music was. Golbez from Final Fantasy 4. <laughs> Thank you, Bestara. Thank you, Gooby. Thank you, Bungeed. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for the run. Thank you. We... Yeah, you can do more shout outs. I mean, yeah. We're pretty ahead right now. So, I wanted to uh, shout out uh, Fred Coughlin, who is the designer of this randomizer. Fred is a very cool dude. Uh, makes this and also makes one of the, uh, I think, I believe the Super Mario Brothers 3 randomizer as well that most people use. So, I want to shout him out. Uh, uh, thanks everybody for the GGs. Um, thanks to uh, the rest of the Midwest Speed Fest crew for putting this on for you all. This was pretty pretty fun, especially uh, for those who don't get to come to these in person when we have the in person events. That way you can uh, submit to a pretty cool marathon with some pretty cool guys. And thanks, Rocket, for restreaming this. <laughs> and oh, yeah. I mean, most of the time I leave a PC on in my house and life's good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And yeah, thanks for the donations. Keep them coming. This is for a good cause, for sure. All right. We'll cut over to intermission then. Up next, we have a four-way race for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 4 Bay RTA, and that'll be by B. You can see it on the screen here. Be free, Condor, Enderin, and Caleb. B. So stay tuned for that. <laughs>
We have a another donation here. We have five dollars from Andarin going towards Saria again. Saria, please. Or Saria. Good. 